If you are a maker or an electronics enthusiast, you might have used Bluetooth modules in our projects. It is a simple and cost-effective way to add wireless connectivity to our projects. But when we connect to it, we can see it has the same boring name and password which came programmed from the factory. So in this video, we will look at how we can change these parameters. Let's get started. We use these Bluetooth modules in our projects all the time. The most common ones are the HC05 and the HC06. The HC06 has 6 pins labeled Enable, VCC, Ground, TX, RX and State. The HC06 only has 4 pins soldered to it, omitting the Enable and the State pins. This is done because we don't need those pins in HC06. Why is that important? We will see that later in the video. Basically, we supply 5 volts and ground to this module and connect the UART, RX and TX pins to our microcontroller and use it to add wireless connectivity to our projects. The name and password of these modules are quite basic, but we can change them with the help of 80 commands. A custom name gives a custom feeling to your project. To configure these modules, we will need an Arduino board. I am using a Nano here as it makes it easy to connect everything on the breadboard and we will make the connections according to this diagram. I will link the photo in the description below. The module will receive 5 volts and ground from the Arduino board. The RX of the module will be connected to D2 and the TX of the module will be connected to D3. Note that we need to connect enable pin to VCC. As to why we need to do this, let's take a look at it. So when we power up this HC05 module, the LED keeps blinking. This tells us that it's ready to pair. But to configure it, we need to set it in AT mode. There are two ways to do this. Either we can press and hold this button on board while powering up the module. Or we can tie the enable pin to 5V and then power it up. Now, when we power it up, the LED blinks much slower, which tells us that the module is in AT mode. We don't need to do any of this with the HC06 though. It can be configured while in pairing mode also. The LED will keep on blinking until it is paired, but we can also configure it in this mode. Now let's open the Arduino IDE and look at the code. The first thing I will do is connect the USB cable to the Arduino. Now before moving forward, we need to know what AT commands are. They are set of commands we can use to modify these modules. I have prepared this simple table to guide you in using simple AT commands. There is also this document which gives a lot of information about modifying these modules so if you want to check it out, I will provide the both of them in the description. Now let's take a look at the code. It uses the software serial library which is inbuilt into the Arduino IDE. So the first line is basically including the library. Then we create an object named BT and provide the pins on which the Bluetooth module is connected. Now in the setup, we initialize the serial port at 9600 baud rate. The while loop is present to just make sure that the code doesn't run until we connect the USB cable. And then we initialize the connection to the Bluetooth module at 38400 baud rate. Because these HC05 modules operate at that baud rate when they are in AT mode. Then basically we include the check function which we have created below which includes all the basic AT commands which we will take a look at in a few minutes. Then in the loop, we include another function which basically sends the data from the Bluetooth module to the serial monitor and vice versa. I will also link this code below. So now let's upload this code and open the serial monitor. In the code, we wrote a few commands in the check function to know the current name, password and the baud rate of the module. So we can see after the execution of the check function, we can see the response of the module. If we type AT and send it, we receive OK. That means the connection is established successfully. Now we will test different AT commands. We can start by asking the current name of the module, which is done by AT plus name question mark. And then when we send the command, we receive the current name as the response. Then to change this name, 
we can type the same command at plus name but in the end except of question mark we will simply put an equal and then type in the name that we want if we receive the response as okay then the name has been successfully changed now if we ask the name again by using the previous command we can verify that the name has been successfully changed if we take a look with a mobile phone and then try to pair with the module we can see that the hc05 module is now showing as the name which we set awesome moving on to the next command we can see the current password of the module by typing at plus pswd question mark and in the response it will show the current password of the module so to change this password we will do the same thing we did with the name command we will write the same command for password at plus pswd and then put an equal sign and enter the four digit password which we want after sending this command we will receive okay as the response which means the password has been changed now to verify this we can type the at plus pswd question mark command and see the password has been changed also we can use a mobile to connect to the module and enter the password we have just changed to and it connects the next command which we will look at is the at plus uart command it is used to check and change the baud rate of the uart port on the module so to know the current baud rate we will simply type an question mark at the end of the command and in the response we will receive the current baud rate then to change this baud rate we will simply add an equal sign in the end and enter the baud rate which we want to set for example 38400 after we press enter we receive an okay message which means the baud rate has been changed successfully to verify we can ask for the current baud rate again and see that it has been changed that was all the commands which we will look at in this video in an upcoming video we will look at connecting two different hc05 modules to one another using these commands so stay tuned i am also in process of designing of a custom tool for this purpose which we can modify these parameters of the module super quickly and apply the commands for us so if you want to make one for yourself as well then let me know in the comments below stay tuned for the upcoming videos and thank you for watching